For some reason, we parked this far away. I would drive the car down a bit further. This is a used car. Either we're an Oompa Loompa or this is a large model. Welcome to Devil's Trap. It is a first person horror game under three bucks. And we're gonna try it out. Apparently it's their first horror game, so let's see how it goes. We're gonna play the story. No, I don't wanna continue. Let's play. I thought story meant like a background. March 19, 2002. A detective named William Cliff confessed to burning down a mansion because of a paranormal. The mansion was in the ruins and no paranormal were found there. The detective is punished by the chief for burning down the mansion for no reason. Detective William Cliff will patrol the mansion at night for a month. All right. March 19, 2002. Let's do our patrol of the mansion. For some reason, we parked this far away. I would drive the car down a bit further. This is a used car. Either we're an Oompa Loompa or this is a large model. Okay, let's go. We're wearing a helmet. We have feet. That's good. Oh, we're wearing a hat. Cowboy-like hat. Bring our flashlight out. Let's go. As we take this walk, I'm going to point out some achievements that the channel's doing. We're over 1,100 subs, which is very nice. Didn't think we'd ever get that far. It's a good thing. Thanks to everyone watching these videos. And we're going to turn to the right as the sign states. Oh, at the left. Why are we walking? Why didn't we drive? Makes no sense. You're going to get more obscure gameplay from obscure games as a result. We do play big games too, but smaller ones release more often. And that's what we've been focusing on mostly. I think I see something in the distance. Some kind of light. Why are they sending us out in this blizzard? We should not have to walk. Unless the car broke down. They didn't explain that. Getting closer. Thank goodness we don't have a stamina meter. We just run infinitely. Alright, whatever this place is, I guess we're going to hold up here. We didn't get to make it to the mansion. Is this a bar, diner? It is a market. A marketplace. Goody. Get out of this cold. Ah. All right. Hey, man. Hello. How can I help you? Oh, my God. There's some form of voiceover work. We got about the, you heard about this incident? Hello. Have we ever seen anything suspicious here? Yeah. 15, 20 minutes ago, I heard a woman screaming from the frozen lake. Can you describe the frozen lake to me? If you follow the road, it's just to your right. Follow the road and it's to the right. I'm assuming it's down past this market. Should take something for the road, but we're not going to do that. Down the road to the right. Let's go. We're going to have to cut out a lot of this travel. All right, we're coming up on the lake. Here it is. Reports of screaming occurred. Let's see if the peeps have anything to say about it. Very small lake. Is it frozen? Yes, it is. We're going to walk across it because we're stupid.
Let's check out this house on the left, far left first. Just walk right in. I don't think they'd mind. There's some pie. Can't, can't even go in there. Anybody home? Detective here. I even forgot our own name. Okay, yeah, we can interact with the light. No one home here. Let's go to the middle house. This to be a, oh, there's somebody here. Hello. Get the fuck out of my place. <laughs> no, how about no? I'm going in. So he has about the same setup as the other place. They all have the same interior decorator. Kinda. The other place didn't have this painting, this creepy looking painting. All right, let's do what he said and get out of his house before we even entered. And what about this? One? The last one. Someone standing out back. What you gotta say? Hey. Hello. I am Detective William Cliff. I don't do business with cops. <laughs> you don't want to help? Okay, let's ask questions and leave. I'm not asking for your cooperation. I just came to ask about something that happened recently. I think you can help me with that. Alright, fine. The cashier at the beginning of the road told me that there were screams coming from the frozen lake. Do you know anything about that? I didn't see anything, but I heard. A woman's scream came from the big pond, as if they were tagging at her. It's frozen. Well, can you tell me which way the voice came from? Follow the road, and the road will split into two. You'll take the left. A man lives there alone, and a middle-aged woman lives in the house across the pond. Maybe that's where it came from. You might want to take a look. Car C. Okay. Alright. This guy was more cooperative than the other. He saved us from going into his house. Which is... Probably no different than the other one. Alright, let's get out of here. So we gotta reach a fork in the road and make a left. Back on the road. As we walk in this blizzard. We should be freezing to death. But we're not. All right, we will catch up when we get to that fork in the road. We're approaching the fork. We're going to make that left. So a lady is supposed to live across from the pond and there's an old, a middle-aged man he mentioned. Here it is. That's the, the lake. All right, we succeeded. Find a man who lives by the big pond. Now we gotta talk to him. Is he around? Hey, <laughs> you lost your way? This is a private property. <laughs> Just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm Detective William Cliff. I'm here to ask you a few questions. You came for the scream sound, right? How you know that? You must know something to say that. Can you tell yeah. me what happened? Yeah. I know something. My neighbor, Miss Sally. I saw him as she was going out. A couple hours later, I heard a woman's screams coming from the forest. But I couldn't tell if it was really her voice. I was planning to head toward the source of sounds. But you know. 
I was scared that something might happen to me as well. I called 911 to report an incident. There's a fenced house. Someone new has moved there. I don't think anyone recognized him in the town. Sounds came from those places. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to blame anyone. It would be good if you check it. If you turn back the way you came, turn left at the intersection. That road goes directly to that house. So we gotta come back to where we came and turn left. So pretty much the opposite direction. Okay. So we're doing a bunch of running around, going back and forth. Hopefully it leads to something eventually. All right, let's get back to that fork and go the other way. Let me make a left here. It's a smaller road. So far we only got like one jump scare and there was a guy just sliding into the frame trying to scare us he didn't get me though I wonder if this person's gonna send us back the other way somebody's lying somebody had to have seen something that must be the house there's multiple houses unless that's a shed All right, mystery house. Hmm. How do we get in? Can we get in? Oh, yeah. All right. So we got one house. And we got this to be another one. I thought this was a shed. Let's check this one out first. The if it lasts. Nope. I better check the house. Do I want to open? Obviously. Just want to check. Alright. Main house. Look to the window. All the doors are closed. Except the front door. Alright. Still have the same setup. Piece of boxes in the kitchen. Except all the doors are closed. So first let's start with this. Living room. There's no one here. How about this? This one doesn't open. And this one. Holy oh cow! Yeah, you took the words out of my mouth. Blood! Something's up. There's a key right there. Blood on the bed. We got the key. In a picture. Of a cow with a, let's be a priest hat or something. No? I don't know. All right, I like this scene. I gotta get a screeny. Bam. The other door wouldn't open. Why? Why wouldn't this open? Maybe we come back. All right, I'm assuming that keys to this place. Yep. All right, what do we got in here? Two doors. This one doesn't open. This one does. Blood. Who could have seen this coming? Oh, he got stuck with a needle. But one day the detective was not heard from, and on the second day, the police came to check on him. Two days later. Oh, so we plan. So it has cutscenes too. Now they're investigating. All right. I'm really hungry. I need something to eat. Yes. First tab over mission panel. Eat something. Okay. There is no mission panel, by the way. 
Okay, yeah, there is. It just shows up. All right, let's eat something. We went from that snowstorm to this quiet. Eat some cereal. Nice. What we got now? Yatinga get vinyo you. I don't know what that means. It's in another language. Look at our car. It's beautiful. It looks to be a Diablo. Charger. We can't interact with it though. Yeah, I don't think they translated this part. I'm assuming it means to go to sleep. Assume something happened. Go to work. The car's in the garage. Okay. Daytime. Love it. If you can get daytime, you take it. That computer. That's a huge computer and a huge laptop. Checking out his rooms before we leave. Storage, maybe. Okay, yeah, looks to be storage. And the last room. Well, kinda. Piano, you got some flowers. Another door. More storage. And another door. The baby crib with some more flowers. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go to work. We're not even going to eat breakfast. We just can go to work. night time all right back from work go to bed let's go to bed now I'm assuming it's not gonna stay peaceful like this door is cracked well it should be we can't open it earlier What the fuck? I should <laughs> check the sweets. Uh, he has a flashlight on too. That's good. Check the switches in the garden. The reaction is funny. Oh man. Okay. Oh, through the garage. Makes sense. Guess we blew a fuse. No one has entered my garden. There are ah. footprints left behind. I must grab my gun. Footprints. Alright, let's check the switch. I think um, my gun was in bedroom. Now we gotta go get our gun. This guy made his business. Being smart. I think the person's already in your house though. Let's find out where the footprints lead. Okay. We got a gun. Nice. And it has a laser sight, a laser sight as well. We ain't missing with this sucker. Oh, he goes off into the woods. <laughs>
Oh, what's this? I killed this guy. How do you get me? That is BS. But let's try it again. Okay, right, let's try this again, shall we? And he got us again. This time it was legit. Okay, I'm dead. Let's go. Let's go. Don't tell me I'm stuck on a you're dead screen. That's looking like the case. <laughs> We died again, but we couldn't see it. Yep, discovered a bug in this game breaking because we got to quit to get out of this. And by doing that, we'll have to play everything all over again. And that's going to suck. Luckily, okay, we're back at it. Luckily, we didn't have to replay the whole game. We were able to pick the essentially the chapter we were on so I went back and did that and here we are let's hope the dude doesn't kill us yeah that's another one. Oh shit hockey <laughs> there's multiple of them okay oh, now we're dead again Ah, the game screwed up again. Darn it. Now we know there's more than one and they just keep moving. We got to keep moving as well. And so it begins. All right, I'm going to let you just keep running. I'm just going to keep moving. Reload. Bunch of RVs. Reload again. Do I have to use the gun now? As I thought we would. I'm just going to keep following the lights. They're still coming. Follow the lights and we're. Yeah. Freaking dog. Damn it. Freaking throw dogs at us now? Dang. Ugh. That'd be what dogs are always they're the worst in games because they're too skittish. It's hard to hit them. because I hate that chase scene. <sighs> I have to search the ground floor. I don't I don't know what we're searching for, but we're going to search the ground floor. It's our own fault cuz we didn't get here legit. But I want to see the game to the end. Dear Jeremy, I feel like the four walls are closing in on me. I don't know, but I'm on the verge of suicide. I'm at my grandmother's mansion. We used to jump there. Remember? Mom used to get mad at us for messing up the house. Those were good times, but since you died, my life hasn't been all right. After you died, my mom got depressed and stopped taking care of me. I wish you were still here. Nah, You're good. poor guy. Yeah. Your dear brother, Jack. Okay, looks like this place is huge. 
This must be the mansion that they were talking about at the start. So all those little events led up to this. We are the investigator. I was wondering why weren't we there? Well, we were playing some events out that led leads to that. So I guess all those people, well, that one guy that got shanked with a needle that, that we played at the start fed into this as well. Another German message. Do you remember? There was an aunt who always came to clean the mansion and brought her child who was a psychopath. She had different masks while what? She had different masks while in black. I think they meant white and black. And she always made us and her toys wear them. We used to play with them and one day when that girl came we went outside while we were playing by the frozen lake, his foot slipped and she hit his head. And I was very scared. Blood was coming out of his head and onto my... Now let's see what's upstairs. My mother began... And then the message got out. Now he wants to go upstairs. Uh-oh. He's in the house. I don't have my weapon. The door is locked. Let's start over this way. There's that creepy picture again. Freaking wolves. They better not have wolves indoors. Nothing in the laundry room. I'm surprised we don't have footstep sounds in here. Just silent. No ambient music either. Need something to get the mood up. And we got a bathroom. Yeah, we are very small. <coughs> Nothing in the trash. Look how tall that huge that shelf is. There's some scaling issues in here. Okay, there's nothing down that way. What do we need to be up here for? Oh, okay, there's a key on the dresser here. Let's see which door it is. Oh. Ah! Oh, he's gone. It's gonna be this door, right? No? Is there another locked door up here? Now we make sound. How can we get a walking sound on this floor, but not upstairs? Hmm. This. Oh. This is different, I think. Yeah, here's another key. Any other jump scare? Yep. Is it upstairs? There's an, oh, I guess there's a door. Basement, of course. That was blending in. I couldn't see that. Oh, there they are. The heck are those? Like one's in blood, and the other one is three of them. Three women. 
Staying in this house is driving me crazy. Those damn mannequins. Every time I turn around, they look at me through the door. And it's like the mannequins aren't there. There are also men in black bodies that, yeah, we've seen them in the forest. Black bodies, and there are letters all over the house from a boy named Jack, and I'm sick of it. If anybody's reading this, there's a gasoline can in the attic. If you want to, to escape, burn this house. We're going to burn it down, huh? I guess these are the mannequins in question. We got a mannequin. And there's one. Oh, a bunch of them right here. Just lined up. It's possible. I'm trying my darndest to beat this. I went back to the laundry room and found out there is a note. I can't remember if we read this or not. Let's see. You'll never get out of here. That's all it said. Yeah, I don't think that was there before. I would have seen it. Okay. Maybe that triggers something because the door is now closed. Maybe we will never get out of here. Let's see. Oh. Okay. We got mannequins here now. Oh, we got a little note here. I have shelves, but no books. I have drawers, but no clothes. I keep your food fresh and cold. What am I? Do you suppose? What am I? Yeah, we got riddles now. I have shelves but no books. I have drawers but no clothes. I keep your... Oh, it's a fridge. A riddle? Yeah, it's the fridge. Has to be. Yep, it's the fridge. Got the key. A puzzle to actually solved. Wow. Yeah, I was right. This is the attic. Where's that gas can? Yes. Doors closed. Can we burn the house down now? There's a key here. Okay, we found another key. There are no more locked doors up here, so they, the last one has to be downstairs. We actually can't get out this door. What the heck? So it's looking like we're not going to beat the game. We're stuck in the attic. We grabbed a key and the, we got the gas can. As soon as we grabbed the key, the door closed. We have no way out. I've been pressing the E on the door. It doesn't work. Every other door open to find. Not this one. And don't know if we're supposed to use the fire or uh, the gas up here or not. No prompts. I clicked all over the boxes. Everything up here. Nothing worked. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking that it may be bugged. Which is not impossible because the death screen for the last chapter was bugged. We had to restart the game a handful of times. And we selected this chapter, which was part two. And no, uh, part three. And it led us to this mansion. And we made it all the way up here to the attic. This was the last locked door in the house. We got a key, and now we're stuck in here. I was hoping that the door would open back up. And we probably used this key in the, that door across the kitchen to escape after we set fire 
but we can't. I don't think we're supposed to do anything up here. I think we're just stuck. That's devil's trap. Stuck in the attic. And it wasn't even our fault. We're just stuck because the door closed. I think whatever was supposed to happen didn't happen. No trigger. And therefore, we're just stuck in here. And I don't want to redo it because it took a lot to get here. Devil's trap. If we have the heart to redo all this, I'll meet you back. If not, then it's been a good run. I tried. Devil's trap. 